Hey guys, welcome to another video by Goats on the Road. Today we wanted to answer a question that we get a lot in emails and in comments and in this YouTube channel as well. We're often asked why did we start travel blogging and why did we choose it as our full-time career? So today we're going to tell you. Here we go, reasons why we chose travel blogging as our career. So the first reason we love this job is the freedom that it gives us. So we have the freedom to choose our own hours. If we want to work in the morning, it's the morning. We want to work in the evening, it's the evening. It's totally up to us. We also have the freedom to work from anywhere in the world. And this is probably our favorite part because we're travel addicts. We love traveling, <laughs> we love culture. So we love to be able to work while we're on the road. So we can decide if we feel like staying home and working for a bit or if we want to take off on a trip or work and travel at the same time. And we have the freedom to work in our pajamas. This is something <laughs> I never would have imagined having when I worked in Canada. But actually, it's one of my favorite things to just get up, get a coffee, mm -hmm. and then sit in front of the laptop looking out at the ocean or out at the pool and just relaxing in my pajamas or in my underwear even sometimes. Yeah, you don't have to dress up for work anymore. It's great. The next thing that we love about this job is the remote offices that we get to work from. So basically, we can choose where we want to work. So whether it's from home, maybe it's from a resort, from a boutique Airbnb, or a hotel next to a volcano crater, wherever it is we get to choose that office. Another reason we love travel blogging is that we've been able to build something that's ours. So every hour that we put into this thing kind of pays us back whether it's in money or it's in travel experiences mm -hmm. and it just feels like we're building something for once. When we worked for other people we didn't have that feeling you know we'd work overtime. Mm -hmm. Doris picked up a second job but it was really for other people's gains and in this job every single hour we put in where we know that it's gonna you know build the blog up and, and build something better for ourselves. The next reason and one of the best parts about travel blogging is that we absolutely love our readers and the people who email us and talk to us on social media. Yeah, the most rewarding part of our job is getting those emails that say, you know, I, I read your blog post or I took one of your courses and mm -hmm. then I quit my job and now I'm traveling full time and making money on the road. And it just makes us feel so good to be able to kind of communicate with those people and have a group of people who are interested in the same things as us mm -hmm. that we can talk to online. Actually, sometimes we meet up in person, which is great. We get to see people all over the world, hear their stories and have a great time. Next up, we love the community of other bloggers online. Um, when I worked my regular job in Canada, I didn't like the job, but one of my favorite things was the other people I worked with, the co-workers. Yeah. And as a travel blogger, you're kind of a solo blogger or you have a, a significant other or a partner <laughs> that you're blogging with, but you don't really have that community of friends. But with travel blogging and other types of blogging, you do have that. Yeah, we get to make colleagues from all over the world, again, like meeting other travelers, but this time we go to conferences together, we hang out. And sometimes we get to meet up on the road as well and travel with them for a few days you know yeah. so we have all of these people kind of nomading around the world and whenever we want we can meet up with them so you don't have a group of friends that you live near to but you have a bunch of nomads that are kind of traveling around the world with you and you can say hey I'm gonna be in Bali at the same time as you do you want to meet up okay another reason we love travel blogging is that we're building something for ourselves so when we were working back in Canada obviously we we're working for somebody else's gains and we were building their business for them but now we have our own business that we're building for ourselves so every hour we put in we know that we're kind of building towards our own future mm -hmm. and also with blogging, blogging of any type, over time your domain gets age and Google likes an older domain name. So you kind of, you automatically get more traffic mm -hmm. and traffic means a little bit more money and a little bit more people that you can have an impact on. So it basically just grows over time and we're happy that we're able to build it ourselves for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we love about this job is that it's a job that we can do in retirement. Even if we're not interested in traveling for whatever reason when we get older, you can do any sort of blogging. So maybe we're into gardening or something at that point or fishing or I don't know what it is, but we could always continue to blog no matter how old we are and as long as the internet is around. Yeah, and it's not a physical job, right? I couldn't have done my mm -hmm. job in Canada because it was really physical labor, working 10, 12 hours a, yeah. a, a day. And now we just sit on the computer for three or four hours a day mm -hmm. and sitting on a computer you know, you can do that when you're 60 or 70. And by then, maybe it's not even a computer. Maybe it's like virtual reality. Yeah, it's good for any age, basically. So it's something that we know we can do until we just don't want to do it anymore. I know when people retire, they're often thinking like they have to fill the hours in the day. And blogging would give us that. We could sit on the computer for a few hours and then go out and do all the rest of our hobbies like I don't know, golf, fishing, <laughs> whatever it is. And it's also something that generates kind of passive income. So mm -hmm. it's like a pension in that way. As long as you've built it up to a point that it's making money through advertising and through affiliate sales, then it's always going to be giving you an income in your bank account. Yeah, and it's good to keep the brain moving as well. So you're always learning something new. So it's great. So that actually brings us to the next thing that we love about this job is that we're constantly learning and evolving over time. 
there's always something new to learn in blogging and with computers and with photography and with online media. So we're always learning how to do something new. Yeah, technology never stands still. So I feel yeah. like every single month we're basically trying to pick up a new skill, you know, start a new e-course or something. And it just, you never get bored. You never feel stagnant when you're in a business like this. Yeah, each aspect of this blog is always something to learn. Like now we're doing online courses. That's a whole separate thing to learn about. Social media is completely separate. Marketing, it's just there's always something you can learn. Another reason we love travel blogging is that the pay is good. And actually a lot of people don't think that it is or they don't know that it is. Um, it's a common misconception that if you quit your job at home, which maybe you're in quite a bit of money there and you're living a lavish lifestyle, a lot of people don't want to quit that job to be a blogger only to like live in a hostel and live out of a backpack. But it doesn't have to be that way. It's not that way at yeah. all. Once you build up a blog, it can be really lucrative. Mm -hmm. We used to work about 60 plus hours a week in Canada. We both had good jobs. I worked on the oil rigs for a bit and I also worked as a printing press operator. Doris was a legal assistant yep. and we used to work so many hours and today we only work 15 or 20 hours a week sometimes mm -hmm. and we're making way more than we ever were in Canada and we're able to save more for our retirement for a rainy day mm -hmm. and we're just having a better life along the way because we're working from exotic places and traveling a lot. So now we get to save more money, see each other more often and have a better work-life balance. So we've said a lot of amazing things about this job, but I don't want it to sound like it's all, you know, flowers and rainbows. We've got to be honest, there are some cons about blogging. So for one, you don't know what your income is going to be every month because you can might be earning it through affiliates or um, freelance writing or maybe you're selling products. So each month you're not going to have a consistent income like a salary paycheck that you would have at home. And when you first start blogging, you're probably not going to make any money at all for at least six months. It took us about a year to start making enough money from our blog to kind of, you know, supplement our travels. And it was yeah. about a year and a half before we were completely paying for our travels through our blog. Yeah. But that doesn't have to be that way. These days there's way more information online about how to build a blog smarter than what we did. Yeah, definitely. So you can definitely get into making some money within you know, six months or a year, or at least getting some free travel offers or some sponsorships from big companies. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is kind of a con, because in a normal job, you know, you get hired and two weeks later, you got a paycheck. So blogging's not exactly like that. Yeah, and you also have to motivate yourself to get up in the morning and go to work and do this job um, because you don't have a boss. Well, I have a boss, but a lot of people <laughs> don't have bosses. And a lot of people actually choose to go to co-working spaces so that they can surround themselves with other colleagues and people who are doing the same thing, and that can help motivate you to get up and go to work. Yeah, definitely. So we already talked about the work-life balance a little bit, and Doris and I... Although we think we have a pretty good work-life balance, we do still struggle with it. So it is kind of mm -hmm. a con and a lot of other bloggers that we know, they work really, really hard to build their blog in the first place mm -hmm. and then they kind of get blogger burnout. Yeah, they kind of think, why did I quit my job where I was working all these hours to come and become a blogger and work the same amount of hours? So you have to make sure that you're working efficiently and effectively so that you don't spend all the time on the computer because you really don't need to. And the last con that we're going to list is bad <laughs> Wi-Fi. There's nothing worse than seeing that color wheel or that loading bar and you're just waiting for your photos to up while you're editing posts or doing anything working online. So Wi-Fi can kind of dictate where in the world that you work. So that's why a lot of people do choose digital nomad hotspots where they have good Wi-Fi. And that's why people also go to co-working spaces because the Wi-Fi is going to be blazing fast. Okay, so that's it. Those are the reasons why we love travel blogging. Obviously, there are a lot more reasons, but we just wanted to list a few of the top ones here today. So of course we're travel bloggers, but you can basically blog about anything and any blog can be lucrative as long as you're writing about what you're passionate about and you build a blog the right way. So if you don't have a blog yet, I can help you build it the right way. We've, we created a beginner's WordPress blogger course by Goats on the Road. You can check it out in the links below. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you start a blog today, you get the course for free and there's four video modules in there. Plus you get a 200 plus page ebook that'll show you how to kind of build a blog, how to write better posts, how to add photos, design your blog, mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff in there and if you already have a blog but you want to build it to the next level you know get more traffic we also have an SEO course which I'll link below as well mm -hmm. that'll show you how to grow your traffic and how to think like Google keyword research build backlinks all those kind of advanced strategies that can help you grow a blog to the point that you can monetize it and make some money yeah I wish we had all this when we started out because it took us a lot longer to get our blog going than it will take you if you have these tools so that's it guys I hope you like this video if you did please hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you are a blogger let us know what your favorite reasons are for blogging and if you're not a blogger yet let us know why you would like to start one thanks for watching guys if you're watching this on YouTube just scroll down and we have a link there that has a full article about what we just talked about and if you're on our blog right now just scroll down and the articles right there so that's it for this week we'll see you next time later guys bye bye whatever, whatever you want, you want to. Ah, oh. that one blew an eardrum